Welcome to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. We've got a great show for you tonight. She's back. That's right. Hillary Clinton back with a new book. What happened? That's the title of the book and the question that she's asking. Hundreds of people waited online in Manhattan to get a crack at their first copy. But it's okay. The wait wasn't so bad. Hillary bought everybody pizza. That and it's the first week of school and already one school district has lost two kids. You can't make it up. That plus your headlines and of course Dan Zarrow is going to have your local weather. But first, she's back. That's right. Hillary Clinton, the failed presidential nominee in the last election is back with a book. It's called What Happened? Hundreds of people waiting online in Manhattan at the Barnes and Nobles to get a copy of her book. I'll give it to her. She did buy everybody pizza for the folks that stayed overnight. Desperate for friends or just a nice gesture? Let's let our panel weigh in on that. Jeanette Hoffman, <laughs> good to have you here. Thanks, I have so much I, to I say. I know you do. So much. Arlene Parrish, your partner in Dakota's Law, thank you for being here. Absolutely. And Archangel Antoine, good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, you're the head of faith in New Jersey. I gotta start with you, Jeanette. What do you think? <gasps> Wait on the pizza first, because I, I actually, right. I was being a little tongue in cheek. First of all, I think yeah, it's a nice that's gesture. nice. It probably wasn't even real New York pizza. It was probably like some chain stuff. But anyway, to the point, <laughs> okay, Hillary Clinton, her book is all about going through the past and examine everything. Guess what? You lost. Get over it. Look, we have some natural disasters here. People are helping out, coming together. She's sitting there talking about herself. Get over it, Hillary. Nobody wants Arlene, to hear it. Arlene, let me it. ask Let's you this. Do you agree, or I'm going to say you probably don't agree, but let me just put it in this context. Do you think it's important for Democrats to look forward and not back? Listen, we do need to look forward, but she is part of this party. She ran for president. That's something that's a great accomplishment, and certainly for women that she got so far in the process when we haven't been able to do that before. That is important, certainly to women like me. So do you want to see her running again? No, I don't think that is probably the best thing for the Democratic Party. I think we need to move forward. But that being said, if anyone thought she was going anywhere, she's been in public service since she was 20 years old. And okay, she she agree. Should she not run? I think she should just stay focused on her book. But at the same time, I think she should also be giving support to these issues that are really important to a lot of people that I represent, like Medicare for all. I think that's a very important issue, and we would like to see her use her platform to support that. Jeanette, does Hillary speak for you? Does she speak for all women? No, she does not. Um, I think Hillary Clinton's problem is not recognizing what her problems are. Uh, if she wants to bring the country together, she can do that by moving forward, not by dissecting this race and, oh, Bernie Sanders was mean to me and I lost the primary. Well, guess what? You're in an election. That's what happens. You All right, lose. let me switch gears. Maybe sticking with the same topic of looking forward, looking back, politics. Chris Christie got himself back into the news. Steve Bannon, who was ousted from the White House, whether it was on his own accord or not, that's left for debate. But he's out and he's talking. And he said that Chris Christie lost his opportunity when he came out and did not defend the president over the remarks that were made on what's called the Billy Bush uh, weekend. What do you think, Jeanette? Uh, I think Governor Christie is friends with Donald Trump, but I don't think he has a lot of friends in the White House. And I think that's what it's more about, right? He's not close with Steve Bannon. He's not close with Jared Kushner after having put his father in prison. So I think that's Chris Christie's biggest problem. Did he take some slack for not defending the, the president? Sure, a little bit, but it's more about who he is friends I mean, with. What do you think? Listen, I, I think... Um those comments that were made, because I'd rather focus on that, whether Chris Christie was given jobs, not, it is what it is. And like I said, we need to be moving forward. But those comments, anyone that defended those comments should be absolutely ridiculous right now. And okay, Chris sure, didn't. I mean, it didn't have any impact on the election. If anything, it showed Donald Trump as being that locker room guy, and it seems to have helped, not hurt. I stand with Christie and his, state, his statement around uh, Bannon because I think Bannon is a pretty despicable person. You know, he attacked the Catholic Church. He's attacked both Republicans and Democrats. And I think in this game, you have to have a moral bone at sometimes, even though politics, there's no rules. And I think Christie, by him pushing against Bannon, I think that's the right thing to do. So you're do. not a fan of Bannon. Were you a fan <laughs> of Christie's before this? Uh, I'm a fan of anybody who's doing what's right at the time. And so at this time, I would say Christie is right to push against Bannon because right. Bannon right. just again. But isn't that one of the reasons that you need strong women like Hillary so that that type of locker room talk is not acceptable from the president of the United States? Oh, I don't I think anybody think so. ever said it was acceptable. Oh, I think there's been. People well, have said I, it's no, I would okay. love I to have this debate over the next two so hours, <laughs> but I'm going to leave it there. We're going to talk about kids left on a bus. That's right, in Patterson. Uh, people have already been fired, but it's happened twice now where kids were not only left on a bus, but the bus left, went to the yard miles away from the school. Ashley Johnson has the full story. 